Hey y'all, so today I am really excited. I'm gonna be sharing some thrift flips, thrift DIYs, home decor DIYs, whatever you wanna call it, but these things are from the thrift store and we are going to turn them into something a little bit different. These are not crazy and I feel kind of funny making this video because I'm like, these are really simple, but I feel like they should be shared. I'm really excited to do these because I've been collecting these items kind of just because I haven't had time to film this for a while and like waiting till I get into the house so that I can make them for my home. So I thought I might as well share if I'm going to do them anyway. So for the first DIY, we're going to be making a wicker lamp light lampshade whatever you want to call it and i'm sure you can do this in, in a variety of ways but the way i'm doing it is specifically for hanging so i found this basket at the thrift store and it is just like the perfect basket i was looking for one of these for a lampshade because i knew i wanted to do it it's very urban outfitters anthropology pinterest i don't know just like this style right now i guess and i was looking for a loose weave if, if you flip it over it looks like it could be a light and then this one the most perfect side opening so you can put the cord through it so this one's super easy all you're gonna need is some sort of basket and a wire from anywhere i got mine at at ikea also ikea had like these types of lights for 70 dollars and i just kind of justify buying them so we're gonna make our own and all you need is one of these cords so it can plug into the wall unless you have electrical fixtures when you can't plug them into the wall. So, I mean, you can make them for that too. You just would have to get a different cord. And this is literally so simple. All I'm gonna do is take the cord and get it through this hole right here. It really fits perfectly. Holder fits perfectly. And this is what we are working with. Going to be making a note roll to hang up on your wall and i'm talking about pictures like this and i feel like i saw i know i saw one at anthropology for like 40 dollars, and i was like that's not that bad it's really cute but i'm like 40 dollars. it's actually pretty expensive and then i went to the thrift store one day and when these ideas get in my head i feel like when i'm at the thrift store i see something and i just i'm like oh that can be that so i saw this paper towel roll and how perfect for this DIY. I think if you go to the thrift store, you could probably find these. Um, they're probably in the wood section. All you're going to need for this DIY is an old paper towel roll or anything that could be of the sort. And it is some paper. I'm originally looking for wrapping paper, but it is bulletin board paper. It's like $2 at Target. It's going to measure how it will fit inside of this. I'm just going to mark it and then attempt to Cut. I actually just have to cut the entire thing. I'm just gonna roll it up. Okay. It's kind of going. The next DIY is going to be pretty darn simple. But I just, like I keep saying, I think it's okay. We can throw it in here. So be revamping some vases or just odd objects. So I feel like at the thrift store, I'll either find something that I just love so much, but like, why is it painted that color like this one? This shaped item. I thought this was real wood when I got it, but it's actually like, it was real wood. I would like it a lot more, but now it's going to be different, but it's going to be either a candle holder or something. And my idea with this is, the desert boho vibes i feel like it is something right now and it's the very like warm pinky tones with like the kind of geometric prints and then like pumpus grass <laughs> that's what i imagine when i imagine that trend desert boho i don't know if that's the idea but me and my friend kind of decided we think that's what it's called but yeah i think if these are painted a little bit of a happier color they will tie into that and just make it look a lot nicer. All you're gonna need for this DIY is super simple. You're gonna need some paint, paintbrushes, objects that you can paint on. I'm gonna paint this little thing first, but I'm first gonna start with mixing this darker color and this lighter yellow in my little paint dish. Okay, I think I'm happy with this color now and I'm just gonna start dry. I'm gonna start painting this one with this very light pink. 
And I don't know if I'm gonna paint all of it or just the blue part and leave like the terracotta part. Let's see, kind of like that. So for the last DIY, I just think that this one, I don't know how it's gonna work. So we are gonna be making a candle holder cute candle holder so I found this little one at the thrift store and it is I think an old it's amber glass it's like an old candy jar the thing that grandmas will put on their coffee table and have candy in that's what my mom always says when we see things like this and I always feel like these things are really cool but I'm like what I don't need that really fun and I feel like very similar to what you'd see at a really cute boutique high-end the candle so there's two ways that you could do the candle part of this. You can use an old candle like this, this old Bath and Body Works, and you can melt it down, take the wick out, or you can get like one of those actual candle DIY kits, but I didn't wanna pay for that. And I already had this little candle, which is an unscented wax. So I'm just gonna melt this down and take the wick out of there. For this DIY, it's super simple. I'm gonna use an unscented candle and essential oils to give it some scent and then um, a pot of boiling water to melt it down and a bowl to put it in and then I'm going to be using the little jar the little uh, measuring thing I just put that in there so I have boiling water so I'm just going to put that in there some essential oils in there I'm going to do joy which is like very floral and then lemon and orange I'm going to just drop it right into the wax candle I'm tiny set up ready to go found my wax in here I'm just gonna pour it into here use the little wick from it and just stick it mm -hmm. 